Today I'm going to talk about a project that's really fun, really simple. Each one is unique and you can even do it with your kids, get them involved in gardening. And what it is, is it's planting a chair. This is a chair that I have had for at least 15 years. I found it on the side of the road. Somebody had put it in their recycle pile to be hauled away. And I just fell in love with it and couldn't stand the thought of it going to landfill. So, the first thing that you need to do is create a wire base here. And if you come closer, I'm going to show you two different types of wire that I've used. The first wire, as I, I've had to wrap it around the edge of the chair, as you can see here. I don't want it to show. I want it to blend in with the rusty color of this. So I did not use a galvanized wire. I used one that's going to rust. Sure, it's not going to last forever, but look how it blends in right along here. So if the plants don't fully cover this, you're not going to see this big shiny wire. So I've done that, just wrapped it around the edge, kind of really crisscrossy pattern on the bottom. It's definitely not pretty. And then what I do is I cut out a separate base for it. And this is out of aluminum, which doesn't rust. Just cut it to shape, push it on the bottom. That way the water can drain through. Second step is you wanna put a moss base. There's different types of moss you can use. The one I've used is right here. It's, I think they call it like Svenga moss. It comes and it's really dry and very hard to work with. So what you have to do with that moss is you have to soak it in water for an hour or so. I've soaked this in water. Look at it. It's very, it actually makes it even greener. It's very soft and easy to work with. So what you do is you take the moss and you create a nice layer in here. And you just start grabbing handfuls of it and working it around. I'm going to put on my gloves for this because it's wet and messy. So I put the moss in the very bottom as well because I don't want the soil falling through the little holes in the wire. This will help hold it in. Now that we've got the moss just right, we've got it packed in there, the next step is to add the soil. We want to use a potting mix, not a planting mix, a potting mix. Uh, it's a little gentler on uh, the roots. So whenever you plant pots or containers, use that. And I just mix in some granular, slow-release fertilizer. I just mix it in and add the soil. Now comes the really fun part, figuring out what you're going to plant there. It can be anything. Today I'm doing scotch moss. This is called scotch moss and little violas. One year I planted baby tears, which was really nice, just a solid mat of green. Problem was I had chickens who loved to eat the baby tears and they would hop up here and just pick it clean. So I don't have the chickens anymore. I could plant that, but today I'm doing something different. So what I'm going to do is I have my little six pack containers here and I could separate each one the plugs and plug them in, but I want instant gratification on this project. So I pop them out and I'm going to leave them together. They have such a nice solid mat. I really want that look. So I'm just going to figure out placement. What I think I'm going to do is line them with green, like a green frame with the violas in the middle. We'll see how that looks. All right, now that I've got the border of my chair planted and it's firmly tucked in the soil there, the roots have been loosened, I think I need to add a little bit more soil. And I'm going to put in my violas. When you're filling in the soil, you want to make sure there's no big gaps, no empty caverns down there where there's no soil because what that's going to do is it's going to make the roots of these dry out. So make sure that it's really tucked in there and there's no empty gaps. Well, now we've planted it. We're almost finished. So come with me and I'll show you where this beautiful chair is going to be placed. So this is where I place my planted chair, right near my office door so I can see it every day. I have it a little bit off the bricks here and that is to keep curious little bottoms from sitting on it. <laughs> I've had that happen. I used to place it on the patio 
and little kids would come over and sit on the cute little chair and completely mush the flowers. So now I set it a little bit off into the bed so you can still see it, that it's a chair, yet it's going to deter the little kids from sitting on it. I also want to talk about how you're going to water this because you really need to make sure it's consistently watered. If you look closely, you'll see that I have an existing irrigation system set up here and I've run a sprayer right up the back here attaching it with cable ties, black cable ties. If you can't find black cable ties, you can use the white ones. Just use a Sharpie pen and mark them. Black ones blend in, this blends in. You never see it and you never have to worry about keeping it watered. What you'll do is just adjust the nozzle up here to make sure that the spray is hitting it. And there you have it. It will last all season long. So think twice before you throw out that next wrought iron chair. I bet you'll be able to find a use for it.